Our next patient has had a particularly nasty accident. Luckily, the team is ready to fix them. In Manchester, 12-year-old Ryan has come in by ambulance with a nasty neck injury after an attempt to jump like James Bond went wrong. It's like a crack kick. I thought I broke my neck, but if I broke my neck, I would have been, like, dead. Well, luckily, you're not. But I'm not sure he'll be the next 007, either. So how did this happen? It was just another ordinary day at school. It was lunchtime, and Ryan, being a secret agent, was on a top-secret mission. He's a secret agent? OK, he was pretending to be a secret agent. Cool, calm and collected, Double O Ryan stepped from the shadows. In one swift movement, he unleashed his killer karate kick. When suddenly, his mate grabbed his foot and Ryan dropped on his head. Ouch. After such a serious accident, Ryan is on a fixed board with support pads to prevent his neck and spine from moving. Enter Dr. Craig Ferguson. He'll check out our wannabe 007. Any pain in your back? Was it just your neck? Head injuries and neck injuries are common. The James Bond theme is less common. But he's got neck pain, so we have to take it seriously. Dr. Craig needs to find out if Ryan has broken any bones. But to do that, the team have to move him in a special way, keeping his head and body in line. That's because the bones in your neck and back protect the important nerves that run from the brain into the body through your spinal cord. You feel we touch all the way down? It's not sore anywhere. Is that right, Ryan? I want to get some x-rays to make sure the bones are intact. If the bones are intact, it means it's much less likely that he's suffered any nerve injury. Fingers crossed. Get ready for your close-up, Ryan. There are seven small bones in the neck, and getting shots of them all can be tricky. First, his teeth are in the way. I suppose they could take them all out. So what we're going to ask you to do is open your mouth a little bit for us now. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. With his mouth open, the X-ray can see the bones in his neck. OK, so why did you can? Why did you can? Yeah. That's it, brilliant. And relax your mouth again. And now his shoulders are in the way. They could cut them off. Pull down so you feel like you're trying to touch your toes. Yeah, that's probably better. Keep pulling down to your toes. Lovely and relax. Yeah, that's brilliant. I hope he ain't, like, fractured anything. I want to get back to playing cricket. OK, let's just check out your x-rays first. Then you can get on with winning the ashes. I'm making sure that the bones are aligned and I'm making sure there's no breaks in any of the bones that I can see. I think there might be good news for Ryan. Ryan, if I look at all your pictures, they'll look fine. I don't see any broken bones or everything looks where it's supposed to be. So I think you're going to be a bit stiff and sore for the next few days, but I think it's going to gradually get a bit better after that. It's been a lucky escape for Ryan. It feels like a relief because I don't want to break my neck. Who would? You can go back to school tomorrow, but no more James Bond, please. Yeah. OK.